Hi, this is Julian for Production Expert. I want to look at uh, a new feature that was introduced in Pro Tools 2023.12, which is uh, the ability to colour paths in the I.O. window and throughout your Pro Tools session. Oh, we can probably see what's going on slightly better if I go over into the Mix window, because I'm using this drum session. It happens to have some drums in it. The precise content isn't really relevant in this case. But I'm using this because we've got tracks rooted into other tracks, rooted into other tracks, and all of that routing is nicely visually illustrated through use of these routing folders. So for example, these two kick drum tracks are routed via this kick bus on this routing folder, which is then routed into this drums bus in this drums folder, which is then routed to the mix bus and from there to the output on the master fader. And if you look at these input output tiles, you'll see all of that information is presented but not in a way that's very easy to scan. You can understand it, particularly because I've named a lot of these buses. So for example, this snare track, these three snare tracks are all going to a bus that's feeding the snare folder track. And it's named snare. I was called that because uh, I've called it that. Same goes drums into the mix bus is named that. But over here, for example, these reverb returns uh, are fed from these auxiliaries up here via buses that are just called five and six and three and four. Not very informative. So, um, how does it work? Well, it all happens in the I.O. window. So if we come up here and we go to uh, the Setup I.O. window, and what we have in here, which wasn't previously there, is this column down here, which is in each of these tabs. There is Dolby Atmos functionality. I'm going to leave that for this video. We'll concentrate just on motor channel and stereo. And in uh, inserts, that's for use in hardware inserts. But if we come back to this bus tab, what we can see here is we've got a few custom name buses, some that are left to their defaults, some are new, some aren't. But the point is none of them at the moment are coloured. The tracks are coloured, and in the same way that I can look at these three green tracks and see that they're all related and uh, all carry snare drum stuff, which is in this snare routing folder, I can do the same thing for the routing within the session. Previously, the only option that we really had was uh, to do something like uh, if I if I want to see which tracks are feeding this snare bus, I could right click on it and go select assignments to snare. And there it shows me that these four tracks are all routed to or from that snare bus, which is useful. There's also an alternative that hides all the tracks that aren't routed to the bus that you've selected, but it's not super visual. That's improved hugely through use of this um, uh, this new feature of the I.O. setup window. So what we'll do is we'll colour a couple of these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, colour that blue. We'll do that one magenta and that one. Maybe that's purple, I don't know, and that's green. There we go. I'll leave that reverb for now. So we'll have a, a good, clear picture of the routing that's involved here, and that's exactly what we've got. So we can see very quickly that all of these tracks over here are feeding this bus on this folder. Same with these two are feeding this, these three are feeding that. You see how much easier that is to scan. Now, you can use that on auxiliaries. So if I come over here and I raise this one, bus three and four is feeding this room reverb and bus five and six is feeding the plate. But it's not super obvious just by looking at it. I'm going to improve things by renaming that. So bus five and six is the plate. And bus three and four is the room. But of course I can go further by coloring. In that case, if I come back over here and I go into setup IO, and if I come up here, I can make that, let's make that yellow. I can make the plate uh, some other color. Let's go brown, why not? And there we are. One other thing is that you can route to multiple buses at the same time in Pro Tools, and this will reflect this visually. So, for example, this snare is going out to the drums bus. If I wanted for some reason to route that to the plate reverb at the same time, I can do that. Click on here, and if I hold Control on a Mac and select Plate as well, what we get is we get a split tile that shows both colours with a little plus next to it that we've always had. Of course, all these colour changes are also reflected in the edit page as well. 
Um, and f- presumably you could keep going and route across and get a very stripy output tile if that's what you wanted to do. One last thing is if we come over into here and we go into the uh, color palette, then down here in the UI customization, in the tracks pane, we have IO plate saturation. So it's up to you exactly how gaudy you have these. You can have these very gaudy indeed, or you can have them muted and tasteful or just on the default. It's entirely up to you. So there we are. There's uh, an overview of what this stuff looks like in practice. I think it's a really, really useful feature just because it makes absorbing and understanding routing within sessions much more straightforward, much more visual. And uh, while you may well be on top of the routing in your own sessions, it's incredibly useful when you're receiving a session from someone else. And rather than having to go through and have those first few minutes of figuring out exactly what goes where. You can see it from this top level just from the use of colour, which has to be a good thing.